This historic night then for British football with the lineups. For Liverpool, in goal, Ray Clemens, his fifth Wembley Cup final as a Liverpool player. The back four, number two, Phil Neal. Number four, Phil Thompson, who through injury missed the European Cup final in Rome a year ago. Number three, Alan Hansen, and it was his goal, by the way, against Dynamo Dresden, which set Liverpool on the way to Wembley. And number six, and Captain Emily Hughes. Number ten, Terry McDermott. Number eleven, Graham Souness. Number five, Ray Kennedy. They're the midfield players, supported by number eight, Jimmy Case. And up front, number seven, Kenny Dalglish. And number five, David Berkler. Quickly through the Bruges side, Berger Jensen in goal. The back four, Bastien's their captain. Krieger and Lakens, the centre-backs. And Gino Mass is at left-back. In midfield, Julian Coles, René van der Eiken and Danny de Cuba. And in attack, Raoul Simoen, Lejos Ku, and this, the man who's brought in to replace Lambert for only his third game, would you believe, in the Bruges side. And the Danish international, Jan Sorensen, at outside left. And the rest of Bruges with a little mascot as well, a tiny little boy there. They're all in white tonight with uh, trimmings on the shoulders and shorts, but they ostensibly are all in white. Bruges, the Belgian champions, and Liverpool all in red. One other change, of course, Dennis, we should mention, Tommy Smith, that most unfortunate accident. Must say, it must have been a very brave pickaxe to have put Tommy Smith out. <laughs> but we've, got, we've got Alan Hansen there, and I don't think Alan Hansen's going to let them down at the back. Oh, I don't think so, and uh, particularly playing against the continental side, Peter. I think there might have been a problem safely playing Che German side, or an English team, or whatever. Uh, he's come down from Scotland. We saw him early in the season, a bit uh, relaxed at the back, but since then, of course, he's had the experience of playing a few games in the Liverpool side. He, he knows that he can't mess about at the back. I don't think he'll let Liverpool down at all. Like one thing has just occurred to me is that uh, Ernst Happel, the manager of Bruges, as I was saying earlier, is also the uh, Holland manager. I'm sure, but apart from looking at Kenny Dalglish and Graham Souness, uh, as a Liverpool as Liverpool player tonight, he must also be keeping an eye on them, of course, for Scotland, because they're in the same group as Holland in Argentina. It's the man who's brought in to replace Lambert for only his third game, would you believe, in the Bruges side, and the Danish international Jan Sorensen. Manage the Dutch World Cup side, and none of these players have ever played at Wembley before. Straight back to Berger Jensen. I should take those off, by you, he's going hard. Well, Dalglish fittingly uh, was able to make something of that. Back it goes again to Jensen. Jensen, who has a reputation of playing exceptionally well in European Cup games. This is the number five, Gino Mas, the 21-year-old. Van der Aken, the real commander of the side. Well, brought down by uh, Dalglish there, giving uh, Bruges a free kick. which Mars will take. Noticeable that the ball is in fact an official World Cup ball. Slightly different markings than the one that uh, we're used to seeing here, but that's the official World Cup ball. This is uh, Ku playing it towards Sorensen, and you'll notice how quickly Phil Neal was on to Sorensen. This number 11 and danger man. It's with uh, Phil Thompson and now with Ray Clements. Hughes. Thompson. Liverpool, firm favourites, but then, of course, so were Arsenal on Saturday. And Ipswich know well enough what happened to them. And the Belgians came here saying, well, we were underdogs when we played Atletico Madrid and we beat them, and we were certainly underdogs when we played the fabulous Juventus side of Italy and we beat them as well. Thompson in very quickly for Liverpool. So although the odds must favour Liverpool, you must be a little bit wary of this Belgian side. Van der Eke, nice little ball played here to Simoon. Simoon past Thompson, but not getting it before it got to the byline. Goal kick to Liverpool. But here at Liverpool, of course, with vast European experience. They played 96. This is their 96th European game, spread over... 14 seasons. Long ball third by uh, Sanes. And it's uh, Lakens who hits it to Maas. Forward now to Ku. Interesting character. He's a Hungarian who defected, in fact, 18 months ago. Oh, and he's given the ball away. He defected badly there. So far as Bruges are concerned, Dalgish playing it in there. And it was.
wasn't a very good ball played in and easy for Jensen. Kuh, the number 10 for Bruges, we should watch out for him, the Hungarian who defected 18 months ago and in fact played his first game for Bruges last Saturday when they were beaten in the semi-final of the Belgian Cup. Hughes, back to Reykjavik. Alan Hansen. Now, Phil Thompson. Phil Neal. That's out of play, and a throw to Liverpool. Thanks, a bit. Banners. Case. Koo doing well, beating Neil, but it's a throw for Liverpool. Phil Thompson. I suppose it's good, certainly, to see him uh, at last getting a chance. Injury kept him out of both the FA Cup final and the European Cup final last year. The uh, Liverpool number four. Hughes to Saunis. Emlyn Hughes again, and now Terry McDermott attacking him as he likes to do from the middle of the field, but losing touch there. Bastein's coup, and Lakin's linking up. Here's Van der Aken, the real danger man. Flicking it here for Gino Mas. Long ball forward there towards Simone, and Hansen's there at the clearance. It's gone, no score. Sonis. Hansen. Playing in the centre of the back with Emlyn Hughes away on the left-hand side of the back four for Liverpool. Dalgleish. Kennedy. Sonis again. Fairclough on the far side. Nodded in nicely. Dalgleish diving in there. And Jensen was out quickly. Took a knock on his left arm, I think. played in there, out went Jensen, and in fact the goalkeeper now is on the ground again while that slow motion was on, and uh, a bit of attention to his uh, left knee now. Danish international with uh, 13 caps, and we see it from uh, behind the goal, that collision between Dalgleish, Fairclough leaping beautifully there. And that's where the accident happened. The ball in play again now with Alan Hansen. And Phil Thompson. Hansen. Well, Sanders gave it away. Here's Ku, the Hungarian. Nice looking ball there. Simonsen, or rather uh, Sorensen's after it. It's a Liverpool throw. That's a free kick. A shove in the back by Bastines on uh, Fairclough. Kennedy with it. And, a, and an offside there against uh, Dalglish. winning it well in the air and Kerklop offside good decision by the Dutch linesman there wasn't much in it but he was offside Ian St John in the early comments 
Uh, well, I, I don't think Liverpool have quite settled down yet. You know, they want to get a hold of the ball and knock a few passes around, and uh, they haven't quite done that just yet. Hansen playing it back to Clements. Well, that was a bad throw out by Ray Clements, but uh, in fact, there was a handball as Van der Reken tried to control it. I think a lot of people expected Liverpool maybe to go a little harder at Bruges to intimidate them, I mean, in the right sort of way. Well, uh, but they've played it very patiently so far, Liverpool. Well, this is a style, Brian. You know, they want to do this, and I think the quicker they, sit, they get into this routine, uh, the quicker they'll get on top of the game. It's with Phil Thompson now. Dalglish being very closely watched indeed by Lakens and by Van der Aken there, and McDermott couldn't quite make anything of that one. Thompson's header, nicely guided there for Jimmy Case. 24 years old today. I know what a birthday present he'd like, and uh, well, that pass to Fairclough was offside. Tommy Smith just admitting that he didn't even know it was his birthday, but I'm informed that it is. Jimmy Case, that is, the number eight. This is uh, Jensen, the Bruges goalkeeper. Neil, it was an accidental one, it looked to me, but the referee, Charles Corb, has given a free kick to Bruges. Sorensen, the number 11, who was an amateur eight months ago, just gone out of the picture. Mars going in, and a good piece of play by Phil Neal. Just looking at sliding there, and Lakin just a little hard there in on Fairclough. In fact, that number four for Bruges used to be known as Mac the Knife. He's known as the hard man in this... Bruges side. And certainly he clattered into David Fairclough. Liverpool on the move again now with Neil. Case. Sanus. Well, look, they're trying to play offside, uh, the Belgians, and uh, this is always a dangerous ploy with a player like David Fairclough because he's so quick that uh, I think he almost caught him once before over in the left wing, and if they try it too often, I think David could catch him. I think they're renowned throughout Belgium for playing the offside game, so I think Liverpool won't be in the least surprised that uh, that's what's happening in these opening minutes. Case cut out by Maas. This is uh, cool, so we've not seen much of him so far. The marathon man, they call him, because he goes and he goes and he goes. He's 31 years old. And Thompson. Hughes played on for Kennedy. Cools has gone right there with Kennedy. Played back for Emlyn Hughes. Dalgleish shielding it well again, as he does. And Kennedy couldn't quite find him the next time. Here's Kuhls again. A midfield man who strikes forward with uh, Venom, but that pass not reaching Sorensen. And here's Case again for Liverpool. Okay, down the line for Fairclough. Look at Lakin sticking right with him, though. But Fairclough turns it back in only for Van der Aken. And a fall for Neil. But now for Julian Kuhls. Two. De Kuba outside him. Simon, here's De Kuba. Now Bastins, who scored early on against uh, Juventus in the semi final. De Kuba. Bastins trying to play it back in there again, and uh, it's with Delglish. Turn, a little bit of shielding, the accurate pass this time for Teddy McDermott. Played on again this time for Jimmy Cox. And no trouble.
right. The first one was in 63, won by AC Milan. Then in 1968, that never to be forgotten night when Manchester United beat Benfica here. And 1971, when Ajax of Holland beat Panathinaikos of Greece. Kennedy for McDermott. Case away on his right, Fairclough up, and again they've caught him offside, but uh, game allowed to go on. Neil, Sardis, chipped in this time for Case. Can he get him behind them this time? He's got him behind Moss. Played across there, and so nearly with Dalglish on the far side. It was the captain of number two, Bastines, who uh, saved them there. A corner then for Liverpool, taken by Terry McDermott. McDermott, a deep cross again. Kennedy on the far side, allowed a, a lot of leeway there. Played in again this time for Graham Sarnas. A little chip in there. Well, wow, that certainly looked like a foul on Alan Hansen. But it's a goal kick. Tommy Smith. Well, Liverpool, you know, just about putting the pressure on now. Which is probably the nerves in the first few minutes is uh, smooth the game out. But now that they are putting pressure on and working around the offside, but um, I think Blues are going to struggle for the rebound until they get more composure. Uh, put the balls in the box there and trouble them. And, uh, Phil Thompson up. Thompson again. Van der Aken. So a free kick to Liverpool. Phil Thompson. Terry McDermott. Slant across Kennedy on the far side, Jensen. To Cuba. Bastines. Cools. Hansen. Thompson. Be in trouble there. Very nearly was, but got himself out of it. With the help of Hansen. And now Neil just plugging it on for Case. Dalglish offside. Not much in that one, though. And a good sign here that the referee is saying, well, Bruges were in possession, let's carry on with the game, let's not stop for that free kick. Giving a game a chance to flow a little bit as de Cuba takes it up for Bruges. Long, spectacular ball if Mars can get there, which he can't, it's a goal kick. Hughes underneath this one. Dalglish. Super sub, on at the start. So often uh, missed out on these major occasions, being brought on as a sub, but he's there in his own right tonight. 21 years old, here he is, David Fairclough again, but caught offside. Now Phil Neal to Phil Thompson. Again, this patient build-up. I'm sure there are millions of you wanting uh, Liverpool to push forward and urging them to do something, but 
as Ian St. John said, this is the way to play it. Calmly and carefully getting in control of yourself, exploding occasionally as Jimmy Case tried to do there. 11 goals this season, a real Liverpool lad, Liverpool bred and born. Four of them in uh, the European Cup this season. Bastines. Lakens. Maas. That's a Liverpool throw. making themselves heard now. Pass. Thompson. Real clash there as uh, Simon went in as well. Van der Eken back. At the moment, it's a game that's not quite captivated the way that uh, the FA Cup final did on uh, Saturday, but there's a long way to go, and there is such a lot at stake. Dalglish. Oh, damn it. Offside again. That favourite Bruges tactic. And in fairness, they're playing it so well, as Tommy was saying, that uh, David Fairclough is probably the man who might catch them out, but they are playing it well at the moment showed little sign of being caught out. Shove in the back by Hansen. It was just a mistimed uh, run and challenge there. Free kick already taken. Van der Aken through to De Kuba. Ku. Lakens. And that's not a very good one. Bruges, in fact, to come to this game without uh, two of their top players, Couron, a brilliant midfield player, and uh, the veteran Lambert, who scored so many good games for them, both uh, many good goals for them, both injured. But Cools is there, beating Dalglish, finding Simoun. So Cools for Bruges. And Hughes doing his job well. Sanus, but damn it. Bastains. And a lovely little ball played this time for the Hungarian coup. Simon is in there. Bastines is right in there. They'll have to watch that uh, number two for Bruges. Alphonse Bastines, their captain. He used to be an outside right. He loves to come forward and uh, is a good crosser of a ball. And certainly knows when to come forward and attack. As he did uh, against Juventus in the semi-final with a goal after only three minutes. Nil-nil here. Sorensen with the corner for Bruges. Kennedy heading it away. Cools beaten by Dalglish. And the long ball forward hoping to find the pace of Fairclough. Bruges were claiming handball there. Fairclough has gone past his man. Pace is waiting in the middle. And he tried to make something of it. There was a bit of pushing and shoving going on there, but Pace couldn't quite make it. Now can Kenny Dalglish. Safely held by Jensen. Interesting break that though by Fairclough. And now a break is on by De Kuba for Bruges. Kuhls. Sorensen. Now has he got the legs of both those Liverpool defenders, Hansen and Hughes. No foul there by Hughes on Sorensen, says the Dutch referee. And Liverpool now find McDermott. Kennedy. McDermott. Steins. 
Simons turning it down again for De Cuba. Coup and an offside this time against Sorensen. Terry McDermott for Liverpool. Phil Neal. Now Bleach. A free kick to Liverpool this time. A foul by uh, the number three, Krieger. Austrian international, in fact, he'll be going to the World Cup next month with uh, Austria. Eddie Krieger, the sweeper for Bruges. Neil hitting it in low. Graham Sarnis. Oh, just his kick badly there, but uh, an offside as Van der Eken tried to find uh, Simon. Well, uh, the way they're playing offside, though, I expect Terry McDermott and possibly Ray Kennedy to sneak in from the back. I think it's on now for one of them to do that. It's Hansen at the moment, though. Chipped in. Lakin's misjudged that one, but Dalgleish couldn't get in behind him. Coming up to 25 minutes gone. No score. Neil Case reacting very quickly, but it's noticeable that Ars reacted quickly with him, and here's McDermott getting in there, and that nearly came for Kennedy. It might still come for Kennedy. case there of the midfield man as Ian St John was said uh, getting forward it's McDermott getting it through there a missed kick and Kennedy getting it back across the face of that goal and past the post the nearest Liverpool have been to a goal anybody's been to a goal still nil nil 25 gone now Thompson and a free kick to Liverpool Carefully paced forward there. Dalgleish battling. McDermott doing a bit of battling. And a free kick. No, it's a throw. Van der Aken with it. Another Bruges throw. And it's Rene Van der Aken. Ku, Simoon, Kuls. Interesting cross, Clements coming forward, always curling away from him, but uh, Clements committed himself and went all the way. Fairclough, nodding it in this time for Saunas. Force back, finding Hansen. Kennedy. Good ball. And of course, Thompson cutting that out. Kennedy again. Hughes has gone spare on the far side. Oh, that very nearly came for Graham Sarnis, but not quite. And here's Jan Sorensen. Hansen, who's giving it away a bit at the moment. McDermott helping it on for Neil. Flick first time for Thompson. Everybody well inside that Bruges half now, except Ray Clements. Fairclough nodding it down. And a bit of battling going on there between Thompson and Sorensen, and the referee uh, telling Phil Thompson to cut it out. Free kick to Bruges. Twenty-eight minutes gone. Tommy Smith, were you hoping for a breakthrough before this? Uh, yeah, in a way, but uh, Ray Kenny had a great chance there. You know, the ball was bouncing awkward for him, and unfortunately, you know, it just went across the face of the goal. But in as much as uh, the only teams to create any chances so far are Liverpool, uh, with a bit of luck, they're going to wear them down so much that in the end, 
uh, they do get a goal, we might get maybe three or four, you know, but till then, I think Liverpool's just going to play it the way they're playing, push it round as they are doing, and they just get on with it, you know, it's as simple as that. Ray Clements with the clearance. Now McDermott. Fairclough. Oh, he nearly went all the way. He caused a little bit of worry there in that Bruges defence. But now Sorensen. Pass didn't quite come off, catching uh, Phil Thompson on the heel. Here's Thompson again. Hansen. And Hughes. Cuba, Kuls, oh, challenge at least picked up by one by Kennedy on Bastines, and it's a free kick to Bruges. Van der Aken. Ball played firmly and accurately there, but now, oh, that came off the referee. McDermott now. Neil back to Clements. Fairclough. Sorensen. For possession there, and now it's Fairclough. Played on again for Case, but pass is there. And Case a little strong on Moss, and I think Jimmy Case is going to get a yellow card. For the foul on Moss, and you can see a bit of Belgian anger there, those Bruges players, for the challenge there. Did it look as bad as all that to you, Ian St. John? No, the, uh, Jimmy Case went for the ball there, Brian. I think that's ridiculous. I mean, he had to go for it. He slid in, and, uh, you know, the lad just fell over his leg. Nothing in it at all. You change your opinion now? I never saw anything, yeah. I'm, I'm sure that was just uh, accidental. Well, Gino Mars, the number five. 21. There's any chance of him coming off? No. A free kick then to Bruges. Simon and Hughes in for Thompson back it goes to Clements They're a real team of hustlers when they see anything that even slightly breaking their way up front they really hustle for it to Bruce that's a lovely ball though for David Fairclough for Liverpool played inside for McDermott Case is right in there on the far side Kennedy is coming up but Jensen with the throw out for De Cuba. who wasn't happy with the decision, but I think uh, Kenny Dalglish got an elbow in the nose as well. So, a free kick for Liverpool. It's 
Son is running over it. That lazy left foot of Ray Kennedy. Hansen's up here. Neil is up there. A good header in. And Jensen had to jump for that one under pressure from Fairclough. He said before the start that complacency would be the biggest enemy that Liverpool could have. But I think they realise already that uh, this Bruges side is not one to be trifled with. Uh, certainly Liverpool have had uh, the better of things so far. But there were one or two moments when uh, Bruges have looked quite dangerous coming forward and they certainly look very well organised at the back. Hansen's header there for Hughes playing his 73rd European game. McDermott. Now Dalglish. Rippling little run, brought down, and a good advantage play, but he won't let that advantage go, as Van der Aken will get the yellow card this time. For the foul on Jimmy Case. So the referee, who was reluctant to give yellow cards when England played Brazil, has now given two. One to Case, and one to Van der Aken. Having trouble finding his pencil, I gather, but uh, he's found it now. So, do we fancy Jimmy Case? I wanted to send a blistering shot through this bruised wall and into the back of the net. That's exactly what Liverpool could do with now. Two, four, five in the wall, and there's Jimmy Case through the wall! Away. The power of the shot, you get some indication of that, because Jensen's punch virtually went uh, away into touch. Tremendous look at the ball soaring away there. There's the free kick coming in. Van der Aken getting it away. Saunas. Crossed in once more. Hansen right in there. And Van der Aken getting it away. Thompson. Hughes. No offside then. But here's Maas. Neil beating Sorensen, but here's Sorensen maybe with a little bit of space. Until Salas came in to deny him it. Neil. Damn it. Being intercepted there by Simoon. Bill Thompson now to David Fairclough. Neil. A bit too close to the keeper. Pull across. As soon as cutting it out. Case. St. John, they've they defended well, actually, uh, Bruce. They look a good side in defence. Uh -huh, because Liverpool haven't really had what you could call a, a clear-cut chance, apart from the one Kennedy had across the goal. Uh, they have defended well. They're marking tight uh, Fairclough and Dalglish and making life difficult for them. But uh, I think Graham Souness is playing well in midfield for Liverpool, and he sparked off one or two good moves, and you never can tell. Things might brighten up. Thompson. His feet dangerously high there. On Simone giving Bruges the free kick. I think we've seen that Bruges are not a side to be trifled with. In their semi final against uh, Juventus, they went to Turin, a side packed with Italian World Cup players, and only conceded a goal from Bettiger right near the end, and then won the uh, second leg 2 0. Van der Aken with that little chipped free kick. Kennedy getting it away, but not very far. Here's Kuhls. Crossed in again there. Clements for this one. Grabbing it well at full stretch. 
And a nice throw here to McDermott. And onside this time. Fairclough's OK. And Lakers is after him. Fairclough is up. Case is going in. Off the goalkeeper. And it'll come this time for Dalglish. A chance, though, for Bruges to reform, perhaps. Saunas with the shot just over. That was a brilliant break by Liverpool, and it was the hard work of David Fairclough in the first place that did it, but there was the, uh, the finishing bit by Salas. But Bruges were in a bit of trouble when their goalkeeper had to come out, and the ball rebounded off him, it might have gone anywhere, in fact it went to Dalglish. But it's still nil-nil, with six minutes to go to half-time. The ball there for Sorensen, and Clemens has got to come a long way out, and he half changed his mind. Just got that uh, challenge in, and the ball into touch. Van der Aiken. De Kuba, lovely bit of play by him, and by Emlyn Hughes on the far side. Oh, it's fallen for Colts. A quick chip in, and over the top, though, from Koo. And Bruges, for the moment, looking dangerous there. From the moment, Hughes slipped, and Cools was on it. Thompson. Neil. Dalglish, just nodding it on for Kennedy. Five minutes to half time. Fairclough right in there. Play of tremendous pace. McDermott spotting Neil. Good combination here for Liverpool. Case. Now, can he get the cross in? It's not a bad one. And the header by McDermott uh, was wide of the mark. Liverpool beginning to break out with a little more power now, uh, Tommy Smith. Yeah, well, Brian, I think the, the thing is with Brews coming forward a bit more, and, you know, they just had a chance of. Uh, it's, it's, it's enabled Liverpool to get one or two breakaways through David Fairclough and this is probably when <laughs> well, we're out of dangerous, you know it's, uh, it's a case of if the other side attacks you that you break and you're, you're liable to score more than they are this is why probably Bruce look a little bit more if you like, when they do get an attack as if they're doing well but basically it's because Liverpool are pushing up and they're doing all the attacking and Bruce look uh, dangerous now where we go, Terry Mack you know, it's, it's, it's a problem, really, to, to, to say that if Bruce did a bit more attacking, they're going to get beat a damn sight easier than if they defend. Tommy Smith, I should add, injured, of course, and out of this final, but uh, squirming in his seat enough up here in our commentary box to suggest that he's playing every ball and heading everyone away and uh, making every pass. This is Eddie Krieger, the Austrian, with the free kick for Bruges. Hansen, Saunas, a bit of space here now for Dalglish, flick to the right and here's McDermott, Case is up ahead of him, so is Fairclough, Kennedy on the far side. Oh, lovely skill, Neil, cross in there for Dalglish, a turn but not a shot, Lakins has seen him try that once or twice on television probably. Beautiful shielder of the ball and a good turner, Dalglish. Van der Aiken, Kuls. And Jimmy Case. Fairclough, or rather now Fairclough from McDermott. Hurdling past Krieger, but uh, the ball out of play. Fairclough, 11 goals this season, or the 15 this season. Another Liverpool lad. Oh, 
goalkeeping and a brilliant ball in the first place that put Fair Club free. There's the ball from Terry McDermott just beating the Bruges defender and the keeper did well and uh, Fair Club went in. A free kick to Liverpool. Now Fair Club with it. Feel that Liverpool are in any danger at the moment. You'd feel a little more comfortable, and I'm sure millions of uh, watching it would. If only they could put the ball in the back of the net. Hansen there, and he very nearly did. Touched away that time by Jensen. It's a free kick by McDermott, the big young defender up there again. The Danish goalkeeper playing for Bruges, tipping it away. A corner for Liverpool. About a minute and a half to go to half time. Corner hit in a bit lower this time. It's Koo who got it away. Dalgleish and another corner. A bit firmer this time towards Kennedy, but uh, nodded away once more. McDermott. Really beginning to assert himself in the middle of the field, but Lakin's got to that one, and it eventually came off McDermott for the Bruges throw. Bruges, who just won the Belgian Championship for the third successive time. When you consider that uh, that includes beating clubs like Anderlecht, who recently just won the European Cup in his cup again. No, there are no mugs. Wow. I'm surprised if the referee allows Lakin's to get away with that. Deliberately holding back David Fairclough. And not even a word to the number four. Just watch this now. Well. And the referee deciding it doesn't uh, warrant even a rebuke from him. Just the free kick to Liverpool. As we come to the last seconds of the first half. McDermott with that free kick. Towards Hansen again. To Dalglish. The whistle didn't go. It looked to me almost as though Dalgleish was half expecting it. Thompson. And an offside this time against Fairclough, who didn't get back, although the referee is prepared to let it go on. Bastines. Pools trying a little back healer. Saunas. Dalgleish getting in there. As the half-time whistle goes, 45 minutes without a goal, a lot of pressure and some good stuff from Liverpool, but not that final breakthrough that they badly want. Tonight, again, we're waiting uh, for the teams to come out any second now. We're just about to come out of that tunnel, I think, away to our left. Let's have a, a final word, though, uh, Dennis, on David Fairclough, because that's the man that uh, most of the uh, publicity is on tonight. Was it going to be David Fairclough? Was it going to be Steve Highway? The shouts mean that Bruges, and the shouts and the boos mean that Bruges are coming out first. Uh, you know, he's missed so many things, and he's been, when I say miss so many things, he's missed the FA Cup here, he missed the European Cup final in Rome last year, he missed the League Cup final here. So, David Fairclough, I think he's rather tired of being called a super sub, and I just wonder really whether it's almost a question of him trying a little too hard on the big occasion. Oh, well, that's possible, uh, Peter, that, uh, that we re Liverpool are relying on Fairclough to do it. He was very unfortunate, actually, just before the uh, end of the first half, when he got a great through ball, he beat uh, Bastien, and he was pulled down when, if he hadn't been pulled down, of course, he was clear through for goal. I think he's probably done everything that's possibly been asked of him, but it's, uh, maybe that the long balls are, are too frequent and he's getting into position too much that you can only run so often. Uh, you've got to have a break every now and then, and uh, probably he's not having the help that he probably deserves from the midfield. Well, at the moment, we've not only got 22 players, two linesmen and a referee, we've got about 150 guardsmen as well, but they are now going to say farewell to the scene. So let's sit back then and face 45 minutes, indeed it could even be extra time, the 23rd European Cup final, Liverpool nil, Bruges nil, your commentator, Alan Parry. So Liverpool looking to find the secret to unlock this Bruges defence that they couldn't find in the first half if they're to join that elite company of European sides who have managed to win the premier trophy of European football more than once. Real Madrid, Benfica, Inter Milan, Ajax and Bayern Munich. And of course, several of those sides 
Ajax and Bayern notably during the 70s have actually managed to win the trophy on three successive occasions so Liverpool's still a long way off that sort of company but then when you consider the punishing league programme that they have to face here in England their achievement I think already meriting ranking alongside some of those European greats themselves but tonight in my opinion anyway so far Liverpool haven't found the verve and the rhythm that we've seen from them this season and I think they'll be looking for an injection of something like that in this second half if they're to overcome the Belgian champions Bruges no substitutions made by either side so and the bandsmen finally trail away in the far corner of the field and back down the tunnel from which the players have just reappeared the Dutch referee Charles Corvo will set the second half in motion with Liverpool all in red, now attacking from left to right as we watch. And I'm sure all of Britain hopes attacking with a vengeance and perhaps scoring the vital goal too in this second half. They're in possession now, inside. Well, and away we go now. McDermott for Liverpool. Hansen very much at home. Thompson gently through for Graham Sounis. Fleish up the ball and finding uh, Neil well there. Case. McDermott. Sonus and an offside again. The mixture as before in that first half. What's the answer to that offside business, uh, Ian? Well, the answer is that somebody has got to come from the other end of the pitch. Uh, Graham Sonus had turned it and played a, a diagonal ball. Uh, somebody coming like Kennedy from the other side of the field could have caught him. Kick by Jensen almost to the edge of that uh, Liverpool penalty area. Here's Sonis again. Now for Kennedy. Fairclough. Bastines is there. Oh, Fairclough shoved him off it and he's allowed to get away with it. Played in there towards Kenny Douglas. Oh, and turned away in the end by Maas just as Jimmy Case came in. It's a corner for Liverpool. It could so easily have been a goal as Fairclough brought it in. The ball in play again now. And McDermott crossing it in, the corner taken very quickly there, Dalglish on the far side, beaten in the air though by uh, Berger Jensen. much in control. Too high for Dalglish, Lakens playing it for Julian Kuss. Hansen, Thompson, Tennille. Sonis, no, it's cut out again by Lakens, and still Liverpool can't find a winning rhythm, and now they're trying to catch them offside, and Kuls has shown Liverpool really what to do, as Ian said a moment ago, to break from behind, hope that your skill will take you through the offside trap. Now it's Dalgridge, played wide this time for Fairclough, attacking them down the left. Crossed inside for Kennedy. And away quite easily by Krieger. Kuhls looks a very good player still, and now Sorensen, we've seen so little of him. Well, and they're not going to see much of him all the time. Hansen plays as well as that. Bastines with the throw. Kuh going for that one, but Hughes got there first. It's uh, Sonus, Kennedy... Oh, he was clobbered from behind there. Blatantly by Lakens, but here's Dalglish. That little rippling run, and McDermott's all the way through. Is this number one for Liverpool? Saved by Jensen. Brilliant keeping. And a really breathtaking break there by uh, Terry McDermott. The goalkeeper is down in pain in his own six-yard area. The game going on. No, it's uh, pulled up with Koo injured. And they want to give the goalkeeper a bit of treatment. But what a moment that was. It's got the uh, crowd buzzing here. 
two Bruges players are down. It was a tremendous break. This Dalgleish played his part there, and just look how McDermott pounced on it. And away he goes towards the edge of that area. The keeper coming out fast. He really lets fly. And it's one of those nights when it just won't go in. Ian? Well, he, he had an option there. He could either have chipped it or placed it, and he elected to place it. And was very unfortunate. It just hit, you know, the side of the goalkeeper. Although the goalkeeper did tremendously well coming out narrow an angle. Tommy? Yeah, you know, it's a, <laughs> it's a hard thing to say, but... You know, he probably should have scored Terry, but you know, to get the break that he did and go past the fella, you know, people think he's a bit slow, Terry, but he's not, he's, he is quite fast. You know, but, you know it's, it's all right saying do this and do that, but you know, maybe he could have got a bit closer, but I don't know, it's a good chance, and I don't think it's going to help Bruges' uh, confidence any. Right, here's Kuhls. They're all 100% again. Mars, who was injured just after that save, and the goalkeeper himself are both fit again. And here's Dalgleish looking much more sprightly in this second half. And look at McDermott thundering through the middle once more. It's with Kennedy. Getting past uh, to Cuba. Now an accurate left foot caught is what we want. And Fairclough was jumping there so well, but beaten by Jensen. Liverpool at the moment are starting to create chances, Brian. They've come out in the second half, they've stepped up a gear, and uh, they must have created at least three chances now in the first what, five minutes or so. Well, we'll watch for that as Neil, well, he hits the ball straight to Kuls. Van der Aken, a long ball now for Sorensen. This could be very dangerous now if Sorensen's got the beating of Hughes, which he has. The player with all the tricks. But has he delayed it now? A little too long, I think he has, and uh, Clements is out there, but I think it's a corner off Koo. The first real sight we've had of uh, Jan Sorensen, the Dane, he used to work for British Leyland, incidentally, in their finance department until about eight months ago when he signed professional for Bruges. He had Hughes and Liverpool a little worried there. So the corner coming up now for Bruges to be taken by Koo. The Hungarian played wide towards Sorensen and Dakuba. Sorensen missing his kick. Hansen, a long ball there for Fairclough to chase. George Lakens is there. Back to his keeper, Jensen. Neil. McDermott. Case. It's straight at Koo. Will Thompson readjusting and just tapping that ball for Case. McDermott nicely played there for Case. Beautifully played there this time. No, it's Brieger, the sweeper, who's gone across there. And a throw for Liverpool. Steve Highway. Now it's for Sanks. And Fairclough offside. Yes, yeah, Steve Highway. for that to come off, Tom. Who do you think might come off? Um, I don't know, it's hard to say. You know, everybody seems to be playing very well. You know, it, it's going to have to be a forward because he's not going to sacrifice anywhere else. Uh, I don't know, maybe David's getting a bit tired. And, you know, it could be very well, maybe David Fairclough. Dalgrish, a little too firmly there for Kennedy. Maybe he's just out there to jip everybody up, although it's certainly been a livelier start to the second half by Liverpool. Eight minutes of the second half gone, though. Still no score. Hughes. There is provision, of course, for extra time in this final, and if it's uh, still level after that, then we have... penalties.
Schultz. Stopped by Hughes. Well, they looked a fair challenge to me. Played the ball. So this is the second time I've seen this Dutch referee at Wembley in the last month, and he's a World Cup referee. I'm bound to say I've not been all that impressed with him on either occasion. It's now with Van der Eken. Number seven. Well, quite a shot on him. Ray Clements, in fact, uh, playing his 64th European game, and uh, he's had uh, quite an easy night so far. Now it's Saunas, as Liverpool break forward again. Neil linking up well on that far side. Ball fade in, but straight to Coles, and they get it away again without any bother at all. Good play, though, by Thompson. Saunas again. Jimmy Case onside this time. Played inside for Saunis. Will he let one fly? Oh. A goal kick. Ten minutes of the second half gone. Neil again hoisted it uh, high up and under that was one of the alehouse balls Tommy was talking about so the alehouse ball the first one we've seen coming from Phil Neal and it's a corner that is produced Case with the kick Thompson with the, no, he didn't get the header. Kennedy, though, chipped in again, but straight to the keeper. Only Simon's up, and there are three Liverpool players back. Thompson and Hughes for Neil. Steins, but unfairly. Well. Unfair challenge in the back on Kenny Dalglish by the skipper of Bruges, the number two, Alphonse Bastines. And now Dalglish! Taken before Bruges were alive, and it nearly killed them. Very quickly taken, and while they were still looking, the ball planted wide. It gave offside anyway, Brian. Uh, it's Kenny just went away just a shade too early. Good interception, though, by Thompson. Bruges look as though they're going to bring on their number 14, Dirk Sanders. There he is, and it's the number 10, Ku, the Hungarian who's coming off. Sanders, who is known as a, a tight marker. And things aren't happening right for Liverpool in that area. They again look comfortable enough. They really haven't given Bruges an awful lot coming forward, and Bruges haven't had much to offer. But now, what's going to happen? Hansen stops it well, but begin to start to fear just a little bit for Liverpool because they've been going for so long and they've got nothing to show for it. It's uh, this sort of game where suddenly the underdog breaks away. And Liverpool have played with great patience, but I think there must be a certain amount of concern now beginning to come into their camp, wondering when they're going to find this decisive bit of football that will make the breakthrough. Well, can Kennedy do it? Played inside for Dalglish. Always sending them always, but then there were just too many in the end. Well, hit fair cut. Ah, 
does fall for Dalglish. Now does it fall for Fairclough? No, it doesn't. Tommy Smith turns away in disgust. It's nothing much going right for your team at the moment, Tommy. Well, I think everything wasn't in disgust. It was just in... Oh, I don't know. What's it, what, what's it called? It was just uh, just a bad bounce of the ball, you know, for Davey. You know, it's unbelievable, really, to think we could have so much of the game and not score a goal yet. You know, it's, uh, it really is. It's, uh, does it start to worry you now? It doesn't worry me because even Bruges, even when they, they do break, they don't seem to be doing really anything. You know, Alan Hansen and Phil Thompson uh, at the back are playing magic, you know, and anything that does come the way, they're gobbling it up. But uh, it's, it's, it's just a strange thing, you know, we, even when we played Notts Forest here, we attacked and attacked and don't seem to be able to put the ball in the back of the net. Right, while Tommy was talking, Dirk Sanders is now on and uh, Laios Kuh is off for Bruges. That's a foul by Hansen on Simon. Sanders, who has just taken that free kick. Known as a midfielder who can mark very well. Well, now can Liverpool get away this time? It's Dalglish again. Only Fairclough is up and he's got to turn and check and look around. Saunas. They're defending well in numbers. They're not known as a good defensive side, but they've made very few slip-ups so far tonight of Bruges. Another alehouse ball there by Phil Thompson. Beautifully gathered, though, by Jensen. Nice touch there by Simon. And now Sorensen. Neil is after him. This Dane can move a bit. He's got past Phil Neil. Now Hughes blocking that one. Simone, or rather uh, Sanders, and now De Cuba. Sanders, this time Lakers. The defender coming forward, he was doubtful for a long time for this game with a, an ankle injury, but he's a trained physiotherapist himself and gave himself treatment to make sure that he could play. So, a familiar sight of Liverpool coming forward. But without quite that mean, incisive play that we've seen so often, and particularly in the last month or so in their game, with Van der Aken, De Cuba. And Bruges are battling well. 17 minutes of the second half gone, under half an hour of uh, normal time to go, still nil-nil. playing it back and Highway is coming on it's Jimmy Case is it coming it's Jimmy Case who's going to come off Kennedy Dalglish claiming handball not given ball out of play the chance presumably for Steve Highway to come on So while Emlyn Hughes waits to take the throw. Jimmy Case, who I thought had a sparkling first half. I haven't seen quite so much of him in the second half. Does it surprise you, Tommy Smith? Well, probably the boss has decided that we've got so much of the game that we need another forward on to score goals rather than bring Davy off, who's, who's always liable to get uh, an odd goal or two. He's brought Stevie on with the, with the idea probably to do a little bit more attacking and for somebody to put at the back of the net. So four up now, most of the time for Liverpool, I'd imagine. Or maybe just three at the back, as Emlyn Hughes looks as though he's uh, moved forward a little bit. But certainly the idea is to take the battle even more now to Bruges. Still no goals. And here's Dalglish. Over his head nicely, and uh, De Cuba was there, but so is Saunas there. Will he get a shot in? Now Dalglish! Had 
so much more of the game. Salas's little pass onside. Good decision there by referee and linesman. The little chip by Kenny Dalgrish. And the magic side of that ball in the back of the Bruges net. And Liverpool in the lead. There's the pass. And really quite a soft shot, but beautifully played just inside that far post. Tommy Smith. Oh, Patrick, you know, it's uh, terrific. You know, Kenny's... Uh... Well, you know, like Ian was saying, he seemed to be taking the time, but now he's put that one in, and, you know, that was exactly what he should have done. You know, you couldn't have done any better, and it's fabulous, you know, unbelievable. Now it's Kennedy. 30th goal of the season for Kenny Dalglish. And what an important one there. And away it goes David Fairclough, but Gastein's across. was a marvellous piece of substitution by Bob Paisley within 30 seconds of the substitution having been made. Liverpool go into the lead. And the Liverpool fans now with more than enough to say for themselves. which Jan Sorensen will take. A deep one there. De Kubers right in there. And it was an overhead tried by uh, Van der Aken. And a throw for Liverpool. 24 minutes to go. John to Dalglish going up all around Wembley now. Thompson, what a brilliant game. Neil. Thompson again. Delgish, no, stopped that time by Bastains. His feet were high as he challenged for that ball. It's a free kick to the Belgian champions. Well, he cost £440,000. Who would argue that he was worth every penny of it now? A goal that could well bring a victory in the European Cup final. And Highway, who I don't think has really had a touch of the ball yet. Fairclough and uh, I quite fancy Liverpool now to go on and add to their total. Thompson, Hughes, Kennedy, Hughes again. Hanson for Liverpool. Bounce beating Dalglish, but what a battler he is. He won that ball for all that. Salis was uh, knocking Kuhls off the ball and they were both away from it. They're allowed to go on again. Here he is, the number 11 for Liverpool. Crossed in nicely onto the far side, and it was Mars who put it behind for the corner, with McDermott just behind him. So McDermott and Highway over in that corner, and it's with Steve Highway, the linesman flagging something about it that he didn't like. with a corner. 
Martin played really wide that time. Neil. And again, the feet of Neil were too high on Van der Eken. A free kick to Bruges. Cut out by Sunis. Now Highway. Played on again for McDermott on side. And the header by Fairclough only finding Kennedy. Dalgleish. It'll come for Kennedy. Hit in first time. Oh, a flying attempt there by Fairclough. But Kuhls now bringing it away for Bruges. Still 1-0 for Liverpool. 20 minutes to go. Simone Thompson. And a throw to Bruges. Well, it's a free kick. I think the referee indicating that again the feet were high. Another substitution being made. It's Maas who's going off. And it's Volders, this fella coming on. An attacking midfield player. In fact, he won three uh, championship medals with Anderlecht, and he's also won three with Bruges, so he's a very experienced fellow to be able to bring on at this stage. Joseph Folders with the throw. Kuhls, Saunders. The Belgians now have made both the substitutions allowed. Two from five. Krieger falling straight for McDermott. And now Fairclough. Played in for Kennedy, the midfield men coming forward well, but that's a good ball if Highway can get to it. Highway for Liverpool. Played again for Dalglish. Highway getting very quickly into this game. Nice little pass played here for Dalglish. Look at the space there that they've allowed him. Kuber forced back, Lakens, and an offside uh, against Van der Aken. Hughes, Lakens, Sooners shouting around him saying, that's mine, plays the short ball for Neil. McDermott, no, that's going to be a goal kick. Ian. Well, I think Graham Sunis is directing the traffic in the middle of the field for Liverpool superbly tonight, Brian. He's had a marvellous game, and uh, the way he's set the goal up, uh, you know, his passing short or long has been superb. Thompson uh, pushing down on Kuls. Free kick to Bruges. Van der Aken with it. Sweeping this long ball out here towards Hughes and towards Bastins. Kennedy away. Lakens. Fairclough across quickly. Really challenging well. Soundness in the air. Krieger trying to find folders. But it's McDermott finding Dalglish. Played in, uh, he hoped inside the back there for Fairclough. Folders. Van der Aken, nice little ball played there. Back it comes again to Van der Aken, offside against Kuhls. Uh, and Sorensen. Julian Kuhls. Captain of the Belgian national side. Although he's not captain of his club side. Fairclough got past him, no he hasn't, Jensen uh, reacted very quickly, 
Liverpool's throw. Here's Hughes. Liverpool looking so hard for a second goal that would really wrap it up with uh, a quarter of an hour to go. getting in there but losing out and the Reken missing his chance and Neil nudging it away here towards highway Neil the long long ball forward Aikens with the header inside the last quarter of an hour man of the match I think this fella Phil Thompson the long ball forward were you shaking your head Ian I'm saying uh, Phil Thompson the man of the match so far for Liverpool I thought having a wonderful game Philly so is Alan Hansen alongside him but here's Highway <laughs> Steins keeping close to him but Kennedy supporting him well though the pass wasn't angled quite right and Kennedy got in before Saunders could get away. Van der Aiken. Simone going for that one. Thompson winning everything in the air there. McDermott playing it to Neil. They've got to play it quickly though because Coots was in there. The most dangerous thing that Liverpool could do would be to lose a little bit of concentration now. I don't think they will for a moment, but uh, Bruges can be dangerous on the breaks. There are 13 minutes left, and Liverpool are leading by a goal to nil, and here's Emlyn Hughes. Played in for Dalglish, but Lakens is right there again. I think he made a meal of that one. The challenge between Dalglish and Lakens. Yes, I think you can see that qualifies for something out of the old book. Throw to Liverpool. Shoved this time by Lakens on Dalglish. Free kick. and getting a corner out of Bastines, the Bruce skipper. Holders there at the post with Jensen, the keeper. Fairclough. Highway. Fairclough. Onside. Well, that's funny, the... Uh, Linesman kept his flag down. That was purely a refereeing decision. The linesman went to the corner flag, in fact. He gave no indication of raising his flag, yep. did he? Uh... Yeah, it was a, the referee gave a decision, but uh, by the law of averages, he's going to get one of them right tonight, wouldn't he? You're not very impressed by it? Uh, not really. And so now he's played it short for Sullivan. This could be trouble now. Turn back again. And Simone so close to getting an equaliser and that really would have been a terrible lapse of concentration by uh, Liverpool Alan Hansen's uh, mistake in the first place Clements almost put it right Simone on the turn and that man Phil Thompson there again well Tommy Smith nearly fell out the stand there I mean that was uh, a very slight pass here by Alan Hansen and with 11 minutes left Liverpool have rolled it to the end that's a foul by Bastines on uh, Fairclough and a free kick to Liverpool it's 
the foul. Free kick coming up. McDermott. Masanis. The little chip, Masanis. Kenny Dalgleish is there. Kennedy is there. And whether that ball gathered a little bit of pace, it fooled the pair of them when they got in and behind that Bruges defence. There was an infringement and an offside from that free kick. And Liverpool have ten minutes in which to preserve this one goal lead given them by Kenny Dalglish. Thompson, a high up and under again. Lakins could be forced into an error by highway. Really battling away there. Oh, Lakins reacting there, Mack the knife. Mind you, I think he'd been uh, kicked rather high on his body by Highway quite early in those uh, in that encounter. And the free kick given to Bruges. Yes, an obstruction there by Phil Thompson. A free kick to Bruges. About eight minutes to go. And Bruges could still have a say in this yet. Hansen's header away, a good powerful one as well. Finding Dalgleish, who lost his feet. Bastins. De Cuba. And the Reichen, Hansen. Dalgleish turning it in for Saunis. Played on this time for McDermott. As full of running as ever. Now Highway. Now will he take him on? A little chip in there towards Fairclough, and that was very nearly a brilliant ball. In fact, Krieger just managed to get up there to knock that away for the corner. Clough's corner, aimed towards Ray Kennedy. Bastines get it away. Van der Aken. Now Thompson. Hughes. They've come forward in a line, and it's the break from the back by McDermott this time, but the pass wasn't quite accurate enough. Simone, but it's Neil. Highway. Holders. Seven minutes to go. A free kick to Liverpool. minutes to go. Liverpool leading by one to nil. Not the greatest of European Cup finals so far, but uh, you try telling Liverpool and their supporters that. Now just a matter of six minutes away from becoming the first British club to win it in successive years. Saunas beaten by Kools, who was the man leading the charge a moment ago for Bruges, and is right back there. 
A goal kick now to Bruges. Defending the goal away to our right, Sir Virgil Jensen, and he certainly can't be blamed for the scoreline at the moment. Bruges trailing by one goal to nil. Krieger out to this near side. Volders, a long ball from Volders, a little bit adventurous too. He was never on that one, and Souness picks it up and feeds McDermott. McDermott, Dalglish looking for Kennedy again, and that's a good ball. And again, Kennedy just fractionally offside. Just didn't wait, just didn't wait that uh, second or two. That's all there was in between. And the ball is finally played loosely into touch for a Liverpool throw. Hughes wants to take it quickly. Who knows, perhaps the Liverpool captain looking for his second European Cup goal. Scored against Benfica, hasn't talked, has never stopped talking about it since then. And the throw is finally taken. And then a rather loose ball, which again bounces into that little posse of photographers. We've got now four and a half minutes to go here. Liverpool, the European champions, will know if they need to be told by the crowd and the singing that they're on their way to retaining the European Cup. The only British side to do so if they do, of course. Celtic have done it. Manchester United have done it. Liverpool are going to try and do it the second time. Four minutes to go. Bruges halfway inside the Liverpool half have a free kick. They look into a packed Liverpool penalty area. Simon goes up to challenge. Thompson's there, though, much higher than Simon. And finally, Kennedy clears. Fairclough, a lone figure, Fairclough. Lays it back, Souness, his red stockings around his ankles as they've been for the last 20 minutes. And finally, Souness is toppled to the ground and he will lead the free kick. Liverpool now need to keep possession. Three and a half minutes to go. Won the UEFA Cup twice, the FA Cup twice, a record 10 championships. What a sigh Liverpool are for consistency. Their 14th successive season in Europe and they lead here at Wembley by one goal to nil. And they are now three minutes and 20 seconds away from being the first British side to win the European Cup twice. The major prize in Europe, remember. Bruges have possession halfway inside their own half. Van der Eiken. And although Sorensen for a moment looked dangerous, he was offside and he knew he was offside. And very sportingly, he picks the ball up and runs all the way back with it. And the free kick will be Liverpool's. Five or six yards inside their own half. If you need to be told, that's the Liverpool song now. It almost feels as if the River Mersey is flowing outside this old stadium here. What a night for Wembley. What a night for Liverpool. But there is still two and a half minutes to go. A long ball to the edge of the Bruges area. A high clearance there by Sanders. Breaks once more. Whistle goes, though. Free kick to Bruges. And still they fight the Belgian champions. They've really been under the whip for most of the night. Although there must have been some frustration for Liverpool. And Bruges have a free kick. Two minutes to go. Liverpool one, Bruges nil. Krieger will take the free kick just inside his own half. Doesn't quite know where to put it. Second time he does, a long ball, headed straight back. And here come Liverpool once more. Fairclough, a little bit slow, Fairclough, and in the end he was brought down. And Liverpool again will have that free kick. By our watch now, 90 seconds to go. That's how close Liverpool are to winning the European Cup for the second time. It started such a long time ago in Iceland back in 1964 when Graham Souness was an 11 year old schoolboy he's not now he's grown up since then Graham Souness a very vital part of the Liverpool machine 70 seconds to go a long clearance from Jensen Hansen's underneath it for Liverpool heads it straight into touch this could well be the last assault by Bruges now the throw is about five or six yards inside the Liverpool half downfield Hughes is there Bruges pick it up once more, but Hansen's there. Hansen goes down from that challenge. Hansen is still on the floor. A long clearance, though, looking for Fairclough. If you happen to be listening last Saturday, I said when the final whistle goes here, Ipswich will take over. Well, I needn't tell you here when the whistle goes, because Liverpool will take over. That you can be certain. The ball on the halfway line. Van der Eiken, a long clearance offside, easily. Volders must have been five yards offside. We've got 22 seconds to go. This is going to be Liverpool's night. And it's been Liverpool's season, really. 
Nottingham Forest took the championship so superbly, but Liverpool were there as they've been for so long, and they're going to do this surely now. We've got 10 seconds by our watch, and maybe just a few seconds added on, but not much. And the noise gets louder and louder and louder. A long clearance from Liverpool, looking again for Fairclough. They haven't, but they found McDermott, and McDermott hits it over the bar. That would have been the icing on the cake. That's gone straight across the uh, shale half moon behind the Bruges goal. We are now in injury time. And the referee beckons to Jensen to take the goal kick. A long clearance inside the centre circle. Hansen looks for Dalglish. Fairclough's offside. And I think even the Belgians now know that they're done, they're out. They're finished now, the first Belgian side to be in the European Cup final. That is it! And Liverpool have done it! Well, Ray Clements was sitting alongside us in this very commentary box last Saturday. And I said, what will you feel like if you do it next Wednesday? You just watch me, he said. You just watch me. Well, we're watching him now, Ray Clements, because he's going round every single Liverpool player. The substitutes have come on. Joey Jones has come on, the man who inspires the cop. E.I. Adio, they sing. And my word, they mean it. E.I. Adio, we've won the cup. And that's exactly what Liverpool have done. Bruges did everything they could, it just was not good enough. A magic goal from Kenny Dalglish, and this particular part of Middlesex now belongs to Liverpool. Tremendous scenes we had on Saturday, that belonged to East Anglia. Well, this is not so much the market town, this is the big city of Liverpool, the big club and the big manager, Bob Paisley, who walks out calmly and quietly as he always is, puts an arm round Hansen, puts an arm round his captain and this is going to be a tremendous moment for Bob Paisley the man who did the impossible by taking over from Bill Shankly the man who's kept Liverpool going the only way they know how to go that's forward the side that love to win and Ray Clements is going absolutely potty down there shaking hands with Graham Souness who's become a Liverpool player and Ray Clements waves to us and we wave back to Ray Clements well done Liverpool and again, the backroom staff will come out. The man who meant so much, of course, to Bob Paisley, who's been around so long with Bill Shankly. And Joe Fagan will be just as delighted. And Ronnie Moran will be just as delighted. Because remember, Liverpool are not a club. Liverpool are an institution. And this is one of, the, one of their great nights. Because Emlyn Hughes is about to walk up those 39 steps. And Emlyn, and Emlyn Hughes is coming up the steps to say, can we have our cup back? because that's exactly what he's going to do. He's going to get his cup back. They come up the steps. It doesn't seem very long, in fact, when you've won. Ipswich Town will know that from last Saturday. So Emlyn Hughes will lead his team up, played over 600 games for Liverpool, 51 caps for England. I don't think any of them will have given him quite the delight. If he can actually get, that is, to the top of the steps, he'll move along and he will be presented with the cup by the... Dr. Antonio Franchi, the president of UFA. I don't think Emlyn Hughes will really care. That's the cheer for Emlyn Hughes. The biggest smile on Wembley. And he just for a moment holds a fist up in the air. And when Emlyn Hughes smiles, he lights up everything around him. He takes the cup and in a moment you'll hear the roar. It's his cup. It's Liverpool's cup. Just for 90 minutes, they took the red and white ribbons off that enormous silver trophy. They put those red and white ribbons right back where they belong, because that cup will go back again now to the Anfield boardroom. And the chairman, John Smith, really, for me, epitomizes the hospitality of a great club. He's there, a great day for him too. Ray Clements receives his medal. That had very much to do, Ray Clements, tonight. What he had to do, he did well. Jimmy Case, the man, who not so long ago was playing in front of 500 people for South Liverpool. He was brought off in place of Steve Highway, but it's a great night for him too. And Phil Thompson, 
again just over a year ago they felt perhaps his career was finished but a cheer to for Bruges the Belgian champions Alphonse Bastains the captain will go up and he'll shake hands too with Dr Frankie they did everything but the cheers at the moment belong to the men in red who have now gone down the steps again Joe Fagan is there to put an arm round Emily Hughes the photographers I'm certain now will want to line up that Liverpool side and everybody will be there too Steve Ogrizovich, the young goalkeeper who hardly ever gets a look in with Ray Clements and Joey Jones and Colin Irwin and Ian Callaghan who's been around for so long and Steve Highway too, the substitutes they're all there and a little jig from Terry McDermott and Evelyn Hughes like two kids playing on the sands oh what a picture that is McDermott and Hughes Terry McDermott came to Liverpool from Newcastle scored in Rome in the final last year he's doing a Liverpool jig McDermott and Hughes, I don't know, whatever you'd call it. And David Johnson, one of the Liverpool players down there on crutches. I think he would want to throw them away. Don't do that, David, you could injure yourself. But the Liverpool players now go away to our right. For Bruges, of course, it's a bit of disappointment.